Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Thursday, Thursday, June 13th. And the energies in the day adds up and reduce to the number nine vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. When it comes to the spirit animal that's guiding us today, we are we have a message from the owl energy. Nice. So the owl brings me to the mind element because it's a part of the bird family. I think of wings, air, mind. And with the owl deal being a nocturnal animal, so I think of seeing within the dark. I think of um, introspection. I think of, say, how during the daytime we're overly stimulated with so much going on because we could see so much where at night we're forced to go within because it's hard to see everything. So there's not a lot of distraction. So the focus is within. And that brings me to today's energy with the day adding up or reducing to the number nine vibration and the number nine dealing with endings, the ending of a cycle or evolving to the next. And with the owl energy coming out with the number nine energy, it brings me to what's coming to mind is like cross your, dot your I's and cross your T's type of vibe. Um, pay attention to what's in front of you. Don't skip steps. Um, yeah, focus. Something about focus and pay, focus and paying attention to what's in front of you. And think about how Jupiter is the ruler of the day. Thursday is associated with Jupiterian energy, and Jupiter is in Gemini. So Gemini energy is amplified. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is our mind. So when it comes to our mind, our attention, our and our focus. There's a lot going on there as we could find ourselves having a hard time focusing on something too long, getting distracted easily. And with the all energy coming out, this brings me to reading between the lines. This brings me to focusing your mind, focusing your energy and your attention. And when I look at the energies in the day, we have a T-square happening between the moon. The moon is our inner world, our inner conversation. It's how we talk to ourselves. It's what's happening within us that only us are aware of. They, you know, they say that when it comes to say your moon sign, only the people who live with you or who are the closest to you get to see your moon sign. For me, I feel like it's wherever I'm comfortable is where my moon sign comes out. So our inner world on the moon is in the sign of Virgo. So our inner world, our inner conversation is in the place where we're super analytical, probably super focused, even to the point where we could find ourselves, uh, what do you call it when a person keeps double checking? I know I've, I've done this before where I'm on my way to work and all of a sudden I turn all the way around to come back to make sure that I didn't leave the stove on <laughs> when um, it's embarrassing, but that wasn't the day that I made tea or used the stove. But um, I can't think of the word right now, but I'm sure um, you guys, some of you could think of it where it's like double checking everything, kind of like this obsessing, obsessing over, you know, obsessing over things. Uh, Gemini, Virgo is ruled by by Mercury, just like the sign Gemini. So, you know, both energies deal with the mind. Jupiter's in Gemini. We also got Venus in Gemini, the sun and Mercury. So there's a lot going on in Gemini energy, which rules by is ruled by Mercury and Mercury deals with the mind. And when Mercury's in Gemini, 
this is where we don't spend too much time thinking about things much we're not as focused but when i think of mercury and virgo this is where we can be so focused to the point that ocd to the point that we're obsessive over whatever it is that we're focusing on trying to think about and with that virgo energy this is where we seek perfection we try to perfect something and something can only be perfect by us comparing it to something that already is when we're trying to perfect something there's no originality there we're trying to imitate a thing when we're seeking perfection so whenever you find yourself correcting yourself and trying to make yourself perfect ask yourself who am i trying to imitate that's something that i started saying to myself whenever i would catch myself like nitpicking over the littlest details it's like who am i trying to imitate what am i trying to live up to and i'll say that to myself and immediately set myself free give myself a break and not be so obsessive so when it comes to the t-square the t-square is happening between the sign virgo pisces and gemini so the t-square is happening between three mutable signs so there is challenge when it comes to flexibility flexibility and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number nine vibration and the number nine energy is the most flexible energy even when it isn't and this is because the number nine doesn't want to rock the boat the number nine for me is known as the chameleon because it it avoids endings in the process of avoiding ending it just goes with the flow of whatever and um when i think of the whole chameleon aspect of the number nine um on a positive note you could see it whenever you add a number into the number nine whatever number you add into the number nine that number stays the same if you reduce back to the single digit so that's like say you adding the um two to the number nine and you get 11 one plus one is two it brings you back to the number two so the positive aspect of the number nine is where we're humanitarians and i feel like an ama a great humanitarian is someone who assists adds to but doesn't change the person so on a positive note whatever the number nine is added to it only adds to with a thing but it doesn't change it so that's a positive aspect of that number nine energy but on the lower frequency the number nine energy could be deceptive, could be manipulative. And with the owl energy coming out, this brings me to focus, to paying attention, paying attention to the details. Make sure you're not skipping over any steps. Jupiter is the ruler of the day. So the energies in the day is amplified, whatever it is that we're dealing with. And with I keep going back to the number nine energy and the owl. And it just brings me to some kind of, um, this doesn't have to be for everyone in every situation but it brings me to maybe possible some deception so just make sure you're focusing on all the details make sure you're reading between the lines make sure you're not assuming anything um also to when i think of the energies in today it's like something needs to come to an end and uh, what's coming to mind is like say a relationship um okay what's coming to mind is um for me in the past, whenever I would try to get myself up out of something, I would go and say, um, I don't think I'll be able to work. Like say it's a job and I don't want to do something and I'll say, well, I won't be able to, I don't remember exactly what I will say, but I would try to uh, say no in the most nicest way ever and instead the person will just add a solution and then i'll get pulled in even more when really the goal was to get out i know some of you know exactly what i'm talking about until later on i knew i learned how to just say straight up no i can't and don't leave any room for me to get talked into anything else and i feel like that's something to look into for today where it's like some of you might find yourself wanting to opt out of something wanting to walk away from something maybe before you told someone that you could do them a favor and you realize that you're not going to be able to do them that favor it just won't be possible it's it's it, it, it's putting you out of your way and instead when you go to say no you know with the number nine energy you don't want to rock the boat so you're trying to hinting that you're saying no but like if you're dealing with someone who's also who is slick and can see above it they could just rope you back in because they see what's happening you know so it, it brings me to like being straight up and being direct there's some need for some directness 
when it comes to today's energy. The day is the 13th. And with the day being the 13th, the number one is the individuals, it's, it's the I am, it's thoughts. The number three is childlike, creative, expressive energy. One plus three is four. It brings me to structure, um, structure, but at the same time, the need for uh, flexibility when it comes to that structure. So when I think of the number 13, it's like I think of someone wanting to be creative and expressive, but wanting boundaries when it comes to that creative expression. So the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number nine vibration. The number nine is ruled by Mars. Mars is in Taurus and it's squaring Pluto in Aquarius. So Mars is our motivation. In Taurus, we're motivated by our values. We're motivating, voted, we're motivated by our money. We're motivated by comfort, stability, things that are familiar. And that's squaring Pluto in Aquarius. And that square being made to Mars energy is forcing us to change, make changes in our lives when it comes to our friend groups and the people that we associate ourselves with. So when it comes to today's energy, big time boundaries is the vibe. And we have the Queen of Wands coming out as the tarot guiding us. I feel like the Queen of Wands energy, um, this could be you or it could be someone that you're dealing with that just doesn't know how to take no for an answer. And I can't knock this queen for being pushy and direct and getting what this queen wants. When I think of queen energy, I think of feminine energy, introverted energy, going within, but then the wand is also action oriented. So when I think of the action or the, 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 the action of the wand and the feminine aspect of the queen, it brings me to passion, being passionate about something. So there's this passionate energy within the day, passionate about something. And with the owl energy, it just brings me to, you know, open up your eyes, make sure you're seeing the entire picture. Going back to the moon real quick, moon in um moon in Virgo positively aspecting Uranus and Taurus. Uranus energy brings change. The moon in Virgo, we nurture the moon is nurturing in Virgo, nurturing the idea of being of service to others, wanting to be of service with the moon positively speaking to Uranus, wanting to be of service and helping in a way that's futuristic, helping in a way that's innovative, wanting to find creative ways to help and be of service to others. Um, Jupiter is the ruler of the day and Jupiter and Uranus both are positively speaking to Pluto in Aquarius. And that brings me to more um, thoughts or conversations about transformation when it comes to the groups that we associate ourselves with. Conversations about um, when it comes to the groups that we associate ourselves with, when I look at the aspects being made to Pluto, it's a kind of vibe where it's like you can't just say you're down, you got to show me. You can't say you're down, you got to show me. And with Mars and Taurus, it's like you can't say... Like you can't change and hold on to your comforts at the same time. It's like having to give up. It's like when it comes to today's energy, there's this force or this need to give up your comforts. Um, there's something about your comforts. Um, are there anything that you're holding on to that's holding you back? Is there anything that you're holding on to that's keeping you stagnant? So when it comes to today's energy, there's this need for release, but at the same time, there's something around comfort, but with the owl energy and the queen of wands coming out, it's like you're aware of what that thing is. It's clear you're aware and it's just a matter of of accepting it. I feel like with the energies coming in, it's like we're forced to not just entertain a thing, but actually take action and participate in a thing. So it's not enough anymore to just be aware of what's happening. Like It's like being forced to take action in relation to you know what it is that you know so yeah when it comes to today's energy a major change is is coming in in some cases we could find ourselves evolving to the next level with a thing coming to a realization putting putting something behind us because we have more clarity so we're evolving to the next level or deciding to put something behind us completely um, when it comes to the energies in today just keep in mind that the more you delay is just the more you hold yourself back from wherever it is that you're trying to go, whatever it is that you're trying to experience. And sometimes we ask for things and forget that we ask for them. And, you know, 
life is moving forward so it's like you forget that you ask you get so comfortable where you are but you know life is moving forward and it's getting you there so if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you're being what's the word like it always brings me back to the eagle mother eagle and the baby eaglets and how the mother eagle stirs up the nest so the babies fall out and then they realize that they can fly for me i feel like every challenging situation in my life is the universe playing the mother eagle stirring up the nest so that i could remember that i could fly because like i said sometimes we we sign up for things in our mind we say we want certain things but then we get comfortable where we are and we're being stirred up so that we can make the changes necessary so when you find yourself challenged when you find things are just like not going your way and you're frustrated ask yourself what is this situation trying to teach me how is this situation trying to make sure that i don't settle or get comfortable um, you know, what is this? What is what is the message coming from this situation? Because sometimes we could find ourselves having reoccurring moments, experiencing certain things over and over and over again, when really it's just the universe trying to prepare us for what's next. I remember um, I share this story all the time, but I remember when I uh, years back when I just started doing here, I had dreams of having my own salon. And after a while, I got comfortable um renting a chair in other people's shop which was cool for me i had a key you know and my own boss come and go as i please that was cool but then after a while i started having like repetitive situations where it's like you know like i shared with you guys already moving to florida and then every shop i worked at every salon that i rented a chair at either closed down completely or relocated and i'm at the fourth salon and it's like it's ha it's gonna happen again because i saw it in a dream even though everybody is playing cool but intuitively i can sense something's going on and finally it clicked like i need to put my foot down and take control over my situation opposed to being bounced all over the place so whenever you're challenged you find that things are reoccurring over and over again when it comes to certain things it's the universe showing you that it's time for you to put your foot down and take control over the situation so you know when things appear to not be going your way or you keep experiencing that same poop different toilet kind of vibe and it's over and over again ask yourself how is this trying to tell me to take control and be independent and i feel like with that pluto energy in aquarius you know that's what's also happening when it comes to our peers our friend groups and our public image but i'm going to stop it right here it's always such a pleasure sharing this message with you hey guys i want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session the first one is understanding your internal programming the second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles we first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place the sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics we don't have to change the people in our lives we have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes and the seventh benefit is upcoming transits if that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart or coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.